Today is Monday morning. We have so much going on this week. So many things on the to-do list that need to get done and just some fun projects and things as well. So let's get rolling with the vlog. I've got a couple of different little goodies and boxes and things that need to be unpackaged here. So let's go through these things first. So I ended up getting a little set of these organizers to put in some of the smaller UV DTF decals that we keep in stock. And these are stackable. I got them on Amazon. I will link them down below for you guys if you're interested. But I got them in this clear color, so I figured I could grow with these. They also have like an option where you can buy like a wall piece that these stick onto. That maybe down the road I would want if I really feel like we were growing those collections. But for now, I think this will be great. And it's really kind of fun too because you can buy little dividers that kind of go in here and have two sides, which maybe down the road again I'll also do if I want to kind of grow the collection. But for now, I think this will be a great way to organize them. My mom and I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and grabbed just a few little things to decorate for Christmas. I found this pink tree. It does need to be fluffed. Got a little tree skirt and then an ornament set. They currently still have all their Christmas stuff 50% off, so these were a really good deal, which was nice. So I'm going to set this up in the office today, but I'll insert the little clips from when we were shopping for that. And then over here, I've got a bunch of different <laughs> plugs and things because I need to rewire some stuff down underneath this table. And I just want to be able to better access plugs from this table spot right here because right now these have a hard time reaching and I would like to be able to actually utilize the space more properly. got the little mini pink Christmas tree up. This looks so cute, you guys. I ended up getting this little ornament set Hobby Lobby as well. It's got little rainbows and some stars, just some regular little ornaments. These ones kind of have some little like, sprinkly looking things, some little snowflake ones, and then these little Christmas light looking light bulbs. So this looks really cute, very festive, fun to kind of spruce up the space a little bit for Christmas of course so we love that next i'm going to work on putting some of the stackable bins for the smaller uv dtf decals so when i'm talking about the small ones i'm referring to like this size so these are the ones that just kind of go on the front of the cup kind of like this one here this one's really pretty it says holly jolly coffee company for christmas very fun i'm kind of thinking they'll just sit back here. I don't really know. We're going to obviously just start with something and then I can update them as I need to. But they stack like this so I can, well, I should in theory be able to just pull out however many I need like that. Okay, so I think I've also decided that I'm going to add some of the keychains in here. So we sell these keychain blanks as well in our shop because we have a variety of the little UV DTF decals that like go on these. So we also sell the blanks of these. So I kind of want to put some of them in these containers as well, just so they're easy to reach for. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll do that. At least just a couple of each because not a ton will fit in these because they're kind of small for this. But I feel like that'll be a good way to use them. Maybe I'll just do the ones on the top. That way they're just a little easier to grab out of the container. These little glittery ones are really popular. Little sparkles. Okay, so this is what these look like stacked up. And kind of just for like size comparison here's like my hand next to them so you can kind of get a gist 
of how large they are. But I wanted to keep the most popular colors of keychains on the top, and then I have two other colors that don't get ordered as often, so I just put those there. And then as you can see, inside are the different decals. I have a blank spot here and here, and then I still have a couple of the containers. Um, eventually, I'll just go ahead and put them over there probably in a little bit. We can kind of build out into these, and then I can add on more as I feel like I need to, but then that way I can keep more things in stock and it'll be a little easier to just grab and pull them as needed. All right, so over here on this side of the office, I'm really not loving how this stuff is just laid out. I feel like it's very cluttered. I feel like there's just too much going on and I'm no longer really using this desk space over here. So what I think I'm gonna do is move both of the printers over onto this table here so that it's cleared or not cleared, but having just a better purpose. Eventually I'll put some drawers or something under here as well, but for now I think I'm just gonna move the printers onto this side. And then a lot of this stuff over here, which is like packing supplies and stuff, I think I'm gonna actually put in another room in our house. Then eventually what I really wanna do is raise up this table here, just like this one, so it's the same height. We'll bump up kind of the little packing station here. And then I got something really exciting right here that I'm going to be hanging up here on this wall space. So we have really high ceilings in this house. And so a lot of my videos, I, um, you guys know, I like film my mom kind of from this angle. So especially for Instagram videos and stuff, all they kind of see is this like brown and white, which I don't love. So I really want to include more pink and kind of just have our banner up there with all of our info so that people can see that in our content as well. And I got this banner from Staples. Um, I'm going to try and have my husband help me hang it up later today, so I'll show you guys that obviously when we do it. I've also got this massive mess of stuff down here and I really need to figure out a way to kind of organize some of this space because I pack a lot of my orders right here at this table. So I like to have access to everything I need, like my clear poly mealers and my shipping envelopes. So I'm thinking that I need to move them down here under one of these little square guys. I just added these little tubes here to make my life easier, but I've also got these boxes that need to go somewhere. So let's figure out what we can do with this space. This is stuff that's like not utilized that much like it's cups just for examples and it's like a bunch of sticker paper and laminating sheets so I'm gonna stick these over here oh disco balls okay fun let's pull those out because I might do something with those later I feel like this paper stuff can go down there along with these boxes because I don't utilize them all the time and then I can go small packing envelopes and the big ones also fit well down here and then that way again I have easy access to them while I'm packing orders now <laughs> these poly mailers have been driving me nuts as well because they're they're very large and just do not go well here on this shelf thing so I'm thinking maybe I can just put them here instead making it a little bit easier to use them. And we're gonna bump that little guy over here because I do have transfers on all of these shelves. So I like to make sure that I'm utilizing them well. And then this little guy can just be pushed in for now. So that is not too bad now. I feel good about that. This disco ball got dented. This one I wanna hang up. Okay, so now this side is looking a lot better. I think I eventually want to contact paper the top of this table a lot like this one. That or I have some other contact paper that's kind of like marbly that I might do as well. I, I really think I want to contact paper both of them pink so that we can have just like all pink tables. And then eventually I want to get a big old rug to put in here that's going to be pink as well because you guys know that's just the vibe. These boxes down here. This is extra contact paper. I don't have enough to do the whole table so I'm going to save it. This box is random stuff, but I'm saving both of these boxes so I can package things in them. And then this is actually a heat press. It's like a little mug tumbler heat press that I haven't gotten to pulling out yet, 
but we will. <laughs> and then, like I said, I want to raise the pink pegboard up higher, and then I'm gonna be putting the pink banner. Honestly, it's not gonna be centered on the wall because I really want it just in the background of the video, so it's gonna be somewhere kind of like up here. And so I'm trying to debate like, how I wanna do the whole pegboard wall thing. If I'm gonna do the sign kind of up there, I'm like, maybe I need to scooch this all over and do it here. So maybe I can put this lower. I, I don't know, you guys let me know your thoughts. We'll see kind of the vibes and what I'm looking to do. I really have no idea. But now I've cleared off this so I can go and put this somewhere else in our house and then have more additional space. It won't look as cluttered over here. All right guys, I'm getting seated so that we can pack some orders. It's actually a little later than I typically like to pack my orders, but we are working with what we've got today. It is 1.40 p.m. Ooh, I just got another sale on our TikTok shop. Guys, I just opened up our TikTok shop to do a new deal. So on our TikTok shop, as well as on our website, cotswoldandco.com or cotswoldandco TikTok, we're currently running a deal where we have a two for $29 oh. sweatshirt mystery christmas sweatshirt deal so if you've been looking for a fun gift to get for christmas or if you're just a big holiday gal yourself or if you just really want a good christmas sweatshirt deal i would highly recommend checking out our website or our tiktok shop like i said it's two for 29 they are mystery sweatshirts so you can see the designs that are available that will that we choose from to give you guys but there are six different designs so you'll just be given one of those as a surprise design and it's really really fun way to get a good deal and we are currently running that deal in our shop so if you want to go and check that out like i said highly highly recommend or i'm actually going to print out some packing slips now so that we can get started packing some transfer orders because i want to try and get as many as i can out before the mail lady comes at like three so i literally have like an hour so we'll see how many i can get done i'm trying to prioritize the ones that should go out first and then we will work on the others after so we're gonna get those printed and then we're going to cut some transfers and get some stuff rocking and rolling today here is the first roll so let's just go ahead and get started with this one This is gonna be one of the prints available in tomorrow's $2 Tuesday. And yes, this one is going to be just $2, which is a really good deal because it's a full color DTF transfer. I do get lots of questions when you guys watch these vlogs. This roll right here is called a DTF transfer gang sheet. Um, so you can actually create custom ones of this on our website where you put all of your own designs on it. Um, but we obviously offer a variety of designs that are basically like made to order so when you guys order them they we have to print them and then we cut out them from the roll just like this here and then we send them off as individual transfers to you guys and yes you can use these for your own businesses you can make t-shirts apparel um, whatever you want with these which is a really great way to grow your business because they're a pretty inexpensive way of making apparel our full-size 11 inch designs start at five dollars and then we um, offer a variety of sizes so you can get seven inches and you can also get designs in five inches so if you make like children's apparel or if you want pocket designs or anything like that we make that super easy for y'all and all of our orders on our transfer website do go out in one to three business days. Typically it's around one to two business days unless we are behind for some odd reason, but we have actually been really ahead of schedule lately with orders and getting them out super fast, which has been awesome. And as always, we have that website linked down below for you guys if you want to go and check it out. Um, I will have that linked for y'all. You can purchase from our pre-made designs or ready to press designs as we call them or you can create a file and we will print your custom designs just like this one right here this is basically what a custom dtf transfer sheet looks like this is a 22 inch by 24 inch 
and this customer was able to fit a ton of their different designs on here. So this gets rolled up and then sent off to that customer and then they can create their own custom apparel items. So this order is gonna get rolled up and sent to them. And as always, I will have the custom DTF transfers link down below as well if you want to check those out. I also get lots of questions about our scale that we use over here. Um, I linked it in a comment the other day, but maybe I will try and remember to put it in my description box again for y'all. This actually came from like a hardware store called Harbor Freight and it is fantastic for orders like this, especially when I do my wholesale orders because it can weigh these heavier boxes and things, which makes it so much easier. I recently rearranged the desk space here, so things are a little different than usual. I wanted to quickly wrap up some of those transfer orders, the ones that I really needed to get out today. I really like to keep everything under a two business day turnaround time, but I give myself, we say one to three just in case. Look at the sneezes. Look at the sneezes, little buddy. So there are, I believe, two TikTok orders for the TikTok shop for the two for 29 at Mystery Sweatshirts that I wanted to get out today as well. I know TikTok shop can be a little finicky as far as things have to be scanned in by the post office by like a certain time in order to make sure that like you get your money and the order doesn't get canceled and all this kind of stuff so i don't want to like chance it and leave it to the last day to get this out so i want to get all those out a day before now i have a lot more than just probably these two that i'll do today but maybe i'll start them later or i'll do them tomorrow i'm not sure yet maybe i'll carry on this vlog over to tomorrow We'll see, but um, I want to at least maybe try and get one or two of those out so that they can kind of be ahead of schedule and they can go ahead and get scanned in with the post office pickup. I just switched over to getting the post office pickup from our house, which is fantastic. We used to do that at the office all the time and it was so helpful. And now I don't have to run these all to the post office anymore, which saves me so much time. It makes it so much easier now that I have our in here. I also need to get to unboxing some of the stuff for $2 Tuesday tomorrow and I need to make content on that because I have not pushed it that hard yet on social media for this week which is no bueno. I've got a lot of stuff I feel like I need to do still today and I feel like I'm running out of time. Here's what the little TikTok shop little packing slips look like. They don't have a lot of info on them but we need to make two large sweatshirts, one gray, one white for the Christmas mystery sweatshirt order that they had. So let's grab that. Okay, so this order had the two for 29 mystery sweatshirts. So each mystery sweatshirt order gets a gray sweatshirt and also a white sweatshirt. And then we pick the designs that go on them. So the ones that are gonna go on this one today, we have this one that's gonna go on the white sweatshirt. It's got really cute little ornaments, Santa Clauses, Christmas trees. And then the one that's gonna go on the gray is this one. It's a little hard because the paper wants to roll up, but it says Christmas calories don't count. It's really cute. I love this design and it's been pretty popular and lots of people like it on TikTok shop. So I'm gonna try and do that. I've got our heat tape here that I'm just gonna go ahead and prep some transfer because this is like a sublimation print so it does have to be taped down. I think I just shorted out the electricity in here. So I'm going to try and do this sweatshirt order really quickly because as you can hear in the background little man is getting a little fussy and I know he's going to need a bottle here in just a minute so I want to try and do this fast. Yeah, I know we're getting hungry now. Okay, so these are how the two sweatshirts turn out. 
They've got this very like fun kind of vintagey wash to them, which is why I like them so much. I'm going to quickly get these into clear bags and get the packing label on them and then they can go in the mail. It is actually the next day, but I wanted to show you guys because I just finished doing these sweatshirts. I'm gonna make an Instagram reel and a little TikTok out of them, so make sure you're following us over there. Look at all of these gorgeous mystery Christmas sweatshirts going out. I'm so excited. This is like half of the TikTok shop orders that we have had come in, but you can also order these on our website, clotsholdandco.com. They're under our sweatshirts, under the Christmas section, or you can just type in like mystery into the search bar and you'll see that there's like the Christmas one. will have like all six of the designs available and this is what they look like. Aren't they so cute? Alrighty guys, that is going to bring us to the end of today's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Right here on the screen here, I'm going to link our last vlog as well as the entire playlist full of them if you wanna go and check them out. Down here, you're gonna find our subscribe button so you can stick around for more videos just like this one. And lastly, you're gonna find a link to our Cotswold Co. website where we basically have a link to everything that you could possibly have questions about from our transfer shop to our PNGs, apparel, all that good stuff that's been mentioned in today's video. You'll find all those links down below as well in the description box and at the top of the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.